to 2019, it's hard to imagine um, that another year has passed. In fact, just a couple of days ago, my family was sitting there talking about how this is my oldest son's 20th year. I have one that is his 18th year, 16th year, 13th year. Um, it's just hard to imagine how quickly time passes and how fleeting our moments truly are with our children. Um, those of you who know our story of homeschooling well know that that was really the reason that we started out on this journey in the first place was God impressed upon our hearts that our time with our children was precious and it was short and that if we were going to pass on our faith and equip them for whatever God has called them to do that we needed to bring them home and spend as much time pouring into that endeavor as we possibly could. And because of that, God has done just things that we would have never imagined, called us to start teaching them diligently, allowed us to write and, and help and, and meet thousands and thousands of homeschool families. And um, again, as always, God has done exceedingly abundantly above all that we would have asked or thought. And we are eternally grateful. Um, so as we jump into this brand new year, I am very excited. In fact, this is this is probably my most um, my most excited new year yet uh, because God has just been doing so much in my own heart and life to um, I hope and pray prepare me to walk with you this next year. Um, and, and just those of you who have been around any length of time know that I, I try to be as authentic as I can sharing how God is working in my life. I do it with my children. I do it with you guys because as I share what God is doing, a lot of times he triggers thoughts in, in my kids or in you all um, of ways that he is working in you too. And we're able to have sweet fellowship over just seeing God's hand at work. It's, it's an amazing thing that we have a heavenly father who loves us so much to continually be helping us grow and change into his image. Um, that's, that's just a marvelous thing. Um, so as we're jumping into 2019, I wanted to spend just a few minutes today telling you about our theme for this year uh, and how that's gonna in fact impact some changes here, some changes in the event and that kind of thing. Um, our theme for the events and thus all of our media, whether it be 365, our blog and whatnot, is Rethink Education. Now this theme was actually born out of a conversation that we had with Heidi St. John outside the vendor hall in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina last year, as we were noting how more than probably any other time in history, Families right now are coming to the point of having to rethink the education of their children, no matter what the um, the reason, no matter if it's if it's a smaller reason in the grand scheme of things, a, a bad teacher, a situation where there's a bully in the school or something like that that, that kind of causes them to start rethinking this, or a bigger picture, more long-term uh, reason like discipleship or... Um, you know, even a, a special need that, that must be met that causes them to make that jump. A lot of families in our country are rethinking education right now. And we wanted to come along and help as they are trying to formulate what they believe is right for their family. Um, God has allowed us to have access to an awful lot of resources and experts and that kind of thing. And so uh, we wanted to present that. And, and as we started talking about that, and as the Lord continued to work in my heart and I was praying about, you know, what all of this looks like and how to present it to you guys, I realized that oftentimes we need to stop and rethink a lot of things in our life. We, um, education is certainly one of them, but in a culture as media driven and noise driven as we live in, uh, I think that if as believers we are not rethinking and realigning our thoughts with what God's word says every day about every element of our lives, we are um, very liable to start drifting away, start just going with the flow of culture around us, which is deadly. Um, we're, we're also liable to get very scared or nervous or anxious. Um, the fear of losing our children, the fear of all of these things really wells up within us when we are not thinking biblically. We're not looking at what our goals are and pursuing them passionately and through the power of the Holy Ghost. And so every week this year, we are going to be looking at rethinking something. Now, we'll spend 
a good bit of time talking about the various elements of education, practically looking at rethinking our setup, rethinking our organization, rethinking our why, rethinking, um, you know, just kind of all of these different things, our curriculum and how to approach that. Um, so we'll, we'll have a lot of nuts and bolts of rethinking helps for you in the days ahead. But as anybody who has homeschooled for any length of time knows, rethinking the educational elements is only really a kind of small part of the picture. When you homeschool, we all know that that affects every area of your life. And so in the days ahead, we will also be rethinking the way we approach our marriage. We'll be rethinking the way that we approach parenting, the way that we approach prayer and our personal walk with God, the way that we approach organizing our homes and managing those. All of these things are affected and God's word gives us great insight on all of those things. So I hope and pray that you will join us. If you're not a member, I want to encourage you to, I'm, I'm linking down below a vision meetup that we had where I just really shared some commitments that I would like to see our members make this year. As I have prayed about um, moving ahead into the new year with 365, God has really impressed on my heart that this is a year that we are going to need to all bond together and practice our skills of discipleship on each other. And I actually, um, as I was walking the dog a couple of weeks ago, I was thinking, you know, what I do every day with my children in discipling them is I aim to equip them to be ready to take whatever steps God has for them to walk through whatever door God opens for them to be prepared for whatever is next in their life. And ultimately, that is why we are here in 365 as well, to disciple and, and help all of us moms be ready to passionately pursue the calling that God has given us. We have a great and privileged high call to be wives, to be moms, to be homeschool teachers, to be serving in our churches and our communities and showing God's love to everyone we come in contact with. But if we are... Um, if we are serving from an empty container, if we are dry and brittle inside because we're not being fed ourselves, we are not going to fully fulfill the call that God has for us. And so I encourage you to look closely at this, uh, this community and join us here. I am praying for a very large influx. I'm praying specifically um, for a number that God laid on my heart, and I will let you know when we get there. Um, I don't want to scare anybody off. Um, but I do believe that God is doing great and mighty things. There are four or five commitments that I would like to see everybody make who is going to join us because as we are rethinking things, we have to look at what God's word says about the Christian life. And so the first thing that I want you to rethink, even as you're evaluating joining us, is the fact that as a Christian, we are told to count the cost. We are told to take up our cross and follow him. We are told um, over and over in many different ways that this walk is not always going to be easy and there is a cost involved. And so I want you to, to rethink what you are willing to commit to in order to grow this year as a wife, as a mom, as a homeschool teacher. Um, joining this, this community takes a very small financial commitment, but I want you to commit the time to actually growing with us. I want you to commit to watching the videos, to listening to some audios, to joining us for our meetups, to joining us on site at Teach Them Diligently this spring where we can truly fellowship and love on each other. Um, I want you to commit to joining us for the daily discipleship that we're doing. And it's not just me. You know, I am, I am one person, but I have one uh, set of background and experiences. All of our other members are coming at things from a different background and different experience and different point of view. And that's the beauty of the body of Christ because he has perfectly equipped each one of us to work together for the growth of all. And that is what I want to see in this community is iron sharpening iron, sharing and helping one another, answering those questions, but also just sharing our hearts of how we're growing together. And there are a lot of ways as a members that you can do that with us. So that's my encouragement for you this week. Rethink education with us this year. Rethink every area of your life and let's all, all 
decide right now that 2019 is going to be the year that we bring every area of our life directly in line with what God has for us and what God says in his word so that by the end of this year, our families, our our own lives, everything has grown and changed to be more like him and he is using us mightily in the areas in which he has us placed. So if you have any questions at all, please send me a note, um, leave a comment, whatever it is to get to me. Uh, I would love to interact with you, but let me ask you one more time to seriously consider joining us this year in 365. I honestly believe that this will be one of the best decisions that you have ever made because I think that God is about to do great and mighty things through this group. Thank you so much, and I will see you next week. If you enjoyed this video, you've got to check out Teach Them Diligently 365. Every week, there are even more thorough videos and chats about things that are interesting to you year-round.